Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad on the latest iOS 4.2.1 firmware. Uh, now this is going to be especially helpful if you want to unlock. As using Red Snow, it will allow you to go ahead and update your baseband so that you can go ahead and unlock your iPhone 3G or your iPhone 3GS. Uh, now I'm not going to go ahead and get into the unlock tutorial on this video, it's very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to jailbreak your device to get started. Uh, so before we begin, I do want to mention a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is, is that this is a tethered jailbreak for most devices. A tethered jailbreak, if you don't know what that means, basically indicates that you will need to go ahead and plug your device in every time it shuts entirely off. Uh, now, it's a little bit more complicated, Not you might not always have to do this, depending on if you, uh, depending on what apps you install in Cydia. Sometimes you actually might be able to boot uh, untethered and your jailbreak just won't be there. Uh, so it's a little bit complicated, however, do know that for most devices you will need to rerun Red Snow every time you shut off the device. Uh, now, it's not tethered for all devices, if you do have an iPhone 3G, an iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, or an iPod Touch second generation MB model. If you have one of those three devices, then no worries whatsoever. This is in totally untethered. However, if you have any of the newer devices, such as an iPad, an iPhone 4, uh, an iPod Touch fourth generation, if you have any of those and a couple of others, you will have a tethered jailbreak. So I did want to let you guys know about that. Okay, so the first step is going to be to download Red Snow. Uh, I will have a link to where you can download it for Windows or Mac in the description. And uh, now once you do this, uh, if you're on a Mac, you can skip this step. However, if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to need to do one additional feature. Um, so what we're going to need to do is go ahead and right click the Red Snow. We're going to need to go ahead and come down to Properties. Now we're going to go ahead and come over to Compatibility and click Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. I'll go ahead and we're also going to need to run this program as an administrator. So uh, there are some problems if you don't do this in Vista and uh, Windows 7. Uh, if you're running XP, I don't think you should have any problems. But definitely be sure to run it as an administrator and run it in Windows XP Service Pack 3. So let's go ahead and apply this and hit OK. And now we're ready to go ahead and continue. So let's go ahead and just open it up. And there we go. So now we're ready to go ahead and continue the jailbreak. Um, so the next thing you're going to need to do is find the IPSW, the 4.2.1 IPSW for your device. Uh, now I will have another link in the description showing you how to find it. It's pretty simple. Okay, so once Red Snow has found your IPSW file and successfully identified it, we can go ahead and continue on. Um, so it'll take just a moment to go ahead and patch the jailbreak data, and then we can go ahead and choose a couple of options. Um, so while it's there, we go. That, while it's loading, um, their options will be different depending on what device you have. So I'm doing this on an iPod Touch fourth generation. So as you can see here, I don't have that many options. However, if you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, you have quite a few more. And now keep in mind that it's pretty much all up to you. The main thing is, as long as you have ins uh, install Cydia checked, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, now there are a few other things, uh, like I said, if you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch second generation, you might want to go ahead and enable multitasking, uh, you can go ahead and enable custom boot logos, custom recovery logos, but again, that is all optional. As long as you have installed Cydia checked, you're going to be good to go. I'm not going to leave this alone, although I do want to mention one thing. Uh, you will definitely need to pay attention to this boot tethered, as this is what you're going to need to do whenever you need to, you know, reboot your device. You're going to need to go ahead and rerun Red Snow and click this and rerun it. So definitely keep that in mind. You don't need to do it right now, but you will at a later date. So now we're going to go ahead and click next, and we're ready to continue on and show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so now at this point, we need to go ahead and put our device into DFU mode. And this is pretty simple. You need to go ahead and just plug it into the computer. So make sure it's connected via USB. Connect it and then shut it off. So just go ahead and not, like, you know, hit the power button. But make sure, it, uh, hold it until it says slide to power off and slide to do it. Now, I've already done this just to save a little bit of time. But, yeah. Um, so now we're going to ready to go ahead and begin. Now we're going to need to uh, try to make sure you guys can watch. So as soon as we click next, we're going to start holding the power button for three seconds. And it does count you down. Now we're going to need to start holding the home button for about 10 seconds. Um, now if you drop any of the buttons or whatever, you can go ahead and hold them both for about 10 seconds and it will reboot. And there we go. And now we're going to continue just holding the home button without uh, pressing the power button. And then we're just going to keep holding this until Red Snow gives us the OK. And there we go. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, the program will take just a minute. So just leave your device alone and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. 
Okay, so if you had any device that was an untethered jailbreak, you're all set as soon as it finished up, you're good to go. Now, if you do have a device that is tethered and, you know, it boots and you see just a white city logo, you will need to rerun Red Snow to get it to boot. Uh, now, this is pretty simple. You're going to need to do this. you probably find yourself doing this quite a bit, but... Uh, yeah, so anyway guys, it's the same process, just go ahead and rerun it and just click boot tethered. Um, so there you go guys, that's it, you're now jailbroken on iOS 4.2.1, and if you have an iPhone, you can go ahead optionally and continue on and install Ultra Snow now. Uh, so there you go guys, that's it. Um, really, I don't recommend this for everyone, 4.2 is not a huge update, there's not a whole lot new in it to be honest. And it's kind of a little bit annoying to have to deal with a tethered jailbreak for most devices. However, if you want to do it, you can go ahead, obviously, and show you with the tutorial. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to as many of you as I can. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching.